you know, I don't think it's the pressure that um, makes it hard to defend. I think it's, you know, the obligations that come from being champion. Um, last year, you know, I was fortunate enough to win the race and with that became, came a lot of opportunities, obligations and so forth and, you know, I wouldn't change that for the world. I mean, I wanted to celebrate my victory and take every opportunity that, opportunity that was given to me. Um, that being said, you know, I think the first six or seven months of my year were pretty ordinary. I mean, you look at my results and they look okay, but those results cost. I mean, I struggled through the year. Um, and I was sick um, many times. I felt like every month I was getting some other little virus or some sort of random sickness or pick up any bug. Um, I think my immune system was just struggling just from trying to do too much. So I think defending becomes hard because you're taken away from your training or your training is a little bit more compromised than maybe if you're going in, you know, at not a defending champ or someone who's a dark horse. I mean, you have the luxury of um, training and um, <clears throat> having that uninterrupted training block, which, um, I mean, it really is our job, but, um, you know, you have other obligations once you become champion and, you know, leading up to racing as well. So, yeah, I think that that's the thing that makes it tough to defend, not necessarily the pressure that's leading. I mean, I, I love the pressure of this race. I love racing on the big stage and, you know, against the best in the world. Um, for me, it's not the pressure. It's, you know, it's the outside obligations and... I mean, maybe I celebrated my win for too long after the race too last year. <laughs>